gang, I know I don't normally like cover a bunch of different videos, like a bunch of different video games and all that. I'm sorry if I'm stumbling. I just, I need to gush about Final Fantasy 16 really quick. Just please give me a couple of minutes of your time. I really just need to talk about how excited I am about this game. I need to share with somebody. And I want that somebody to be all of you. Final Fantasy 16 is just something I am just absolutely blown away by there's just so much going on here there's just so much hiding here this raw unfettered mess of potential that i feel like is finally going to give us the final fantasy game that i've been waiting for not the final fantasies of like the crazy technology like we're talking the eights we're talking the 15s the 13s i enjoyed those i really did but there was just something about the more fantasy, the more medieval Final Fantasies that always ended up grabbing me more. The fours, the sixes, the nines, the tactics. And this is finally pulling us back into that kind of Final Fantasy. Everything I'm hearing, everything I'm seeing is just filling my heart with such joy. It's making me watch this trailer over and over and over again. Naoki Yoshida having the reins. Freaking Hiroshi Takai having the reins. Incredible. The rumors, the rumors I am hearing of Ryota Suzuki having the battle direction reins. It just makes so much sense with the gameplay I saw. Everything I saw our protagonist doing, I'm like, oh, this, this kind of looks like Devil May Cry. It's weird. We're kind of getting Devil May Cry vibes. And then hearing that, like, the combat director for Devil May Cry and Dragon's Dogma is working on a Final Fantasy title. Games I super love. Games I hold dear and close to my heart. Oh, my gosh. There's just... And that soundtrack. That soundtrack playing over the trailer, people. Hearing... Hearing Soken score. It's just... It's so, so much. It's just so, so overwhelming. On top of that, Joshua, the Duke's son, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys understand this, but that's a Tactics Ogre, like, thinly veiled reference. And Tactics Ogre was just an incredible strategy RPG all around. It's one of Yoshida's, like, favorite games. It is something that held a lot of the inspiration, the potential for... Final Fantasy Tactics, a game I feel had like some of the best story in all of Final Fantasy, period. Any of the games, no matter what. It was, gosh, there was just so many layers. There was so much in there. I just, I know I'm kind of rambling. I'm kind of going all over the place, but there's just so much, gang. There is just so much here about Final Fantasy 16 that is just making me excited that is just honestly making like tears well up in my eyes because i'm just going on this trip back to when i was a kid looking at my playstation booting up final fantasy 9 booting up my final fantasy anthology and playing through these medieval era fantasy stories that just like gripped me and had this huge sense of high fantasy that a lot of games have succeeded to capture but final fantasy really hasn't been able to in a long time at least not until the smatterings we got in the mmo so honestly if you've gotten to this point in the video gang just thank you so much for listening i'm just so so stoked and excited for final fantasy 16 i need to be getting it day one i need to see more of this game i can't wait I can't wait to see this raw, unfettered potential unleashed into the world. And honestly, if you share that excitement with me, please let me know down in the comments just so I know I'm not alone. Thanks for listening. This is Kawaii 5 Hope you have a great day.